initiative, otherwise known as Project Cafe, has come out here this afternoon to help citizens across the greater Houston area who are not able to help themselves. An initiative that started all the way out in a number of states, Nigeria, is right here in the city of Houston today to continue to use their platform to bless and empower individuals who are unable to do that for themselves. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Good. What is your name? Jacine Blanks. Okay, yes ma'am. I heard you have a couple of words to say. What's on your heart? Um, I want to thank everyone for being here, uh, the beautiful items that appear, and I hope that I have a great day so I can stay. Jocelyn, so she just wants to tell everyone a little bit about how this has been a blessing so far. What do you have to say? I just want to say thank God. Uh, these, what you give me probably just saves save my life. When you give me food, it let me know that when I was thinking God wasn't there, I just had to go to the place I, he needed me to go. Sometimes we got to be moved out the circle to elevate. Sometimes the circle is not even much for you because that's not your calling. I just ask y'all to pray for me because being out here, you get raped. You get manipulated. Sometimes when you don't have food, the ladies have to do ugly things. Unfortunately, I didn't. They have to do ugly things for food. It's hard out here for ladies, for ladies in the men too if they're weak, to then a woman. So we have to pray for the mind out here and then take care of us. It's like, it's like, right now I just walk and it's like, you, I know it's, people tell me it's like, it's like God been doing some things for me that man couldn't do. No, for real. It's like, people don't understand. People like writing me off. They think I'm crazy because it's like, if I ask God, he give it. See, people want the thing to come like this. No. I just want the little things God give for me. If I can have a peace of mind and walk as one and smile like you and be happy in the family, that's more than enough for me. Because I learned, I had the money. I had the business, but I don't know what it feel like to have an out day for my son to come home to his grandbaby. I give all that up for him. I don't care if I get a million dollars. I share it. God know my heart. Amen. So I know he won't let, let nobody hurt me, but it's scary sometimes when you walking alone. Because everybody think you don't, you're crazy. God do some things, I would say, God, is it me? He say, no, it's the faith you have in me. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit more about, you know, what an initiative like this helps um, do for someone like yourself on a day to day. It because I, I'm kind of being led by God with an anointing on me. Well, I don't have an income. I'm trying to get a breakthrough with it. I wouldn't be able to buy any of this stuff. When you go apply for assistance, it's always limited. This is a blessing out here. So, I'm just thankful I was here when y'all came. I don't know, you just trust in the Lord with all your mind, you know, trust in the Lord with all your heart, you know. Lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. That's right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us today. We really appreciate it. All right. Well, God bless you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Take care. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, so I'm seated here with David. How are you doing today? I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm Excellent. blessed. Yeah. Excellent. How's your holiday been? I've been great. Excellent. Yeah, so excellent. we have Project Cafe out here today trying to bless the citizens of the greater Houston area. How do you feel about all that you've inherited? Uh, I feel great about it, you know, and uh, blessed, you know, to be able to see another day. And can you explain to our viewers what a contribution like this does for someone like you living out here? Well, it's just, it just helps a whole lot, you know, it makes me, you know, look forward to another day, you know, and thank God for y'all, you know, and 
And hey, if it was for y'all, you know, how we would make it, you know. And so uh, we are thankful y'all, grateful, you know, and blessed. So, hey, you know, hey, that's about all I can say, you know. Hey, y'all play a big part, you know, in this community, you know. And so I want to say thank y'all, you know, for everything y'all do for me. And I know the other will be on the other half, you know, a lot of people think feel the same way I feel, you know. So, hey, we really appreciate y'all. Absolutely. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really, I like this old chair. I'm sitting here, so I'm thinking about grabbing this with another one too, you know? Right. <laughs> I got comfortable sitting there, you know? So, hey, I like this one. We got that one, so I'm going to grab this one. I got me one, you got him one. Absolutely. Yeah. Me too. All right. We're Y'all doing this for a group? What group? Yeah, so this is Project Cafe. Uh, it's a nonprofit organization that started out in Anambra State, Nigeria. Uh -huh. So we have the first lady of Ni Anambra State here right now. So can you imagine someone started this in their home country and they came to America to also continue their initiative as well? What do you think about that? I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing that they could even do that in another country and then come here because most people come here to benefit. Right. But if they already benefit there and then come here to bring it with them and share, that's even better yeah I got this chair because there's a gentleman over here been out here on the streets 32 years really and don't have a chair so I'm gonna get this chair to bring over there to give to him Wow. that's why I wanted this chair awesome. yeah I come and got a chair earlier for another guy over there who's handicapped he's been out here 22 years and he been in his wheelchair and he, I asked him I said how come you always in your wheelchair you never come out of your wheelchair he said if I had a nice chair to sit in I'd get out of my wheelchair once in a while so that's where I brought the other chair I got a while ago and now I'm gonna give this chair to the other guy that's been out here 32 years wow yeah that's what I that's what I want to do yeah. well I'm so glad to know that yeah. this is gonna definitely help someone out there that needs it yes ma'am awesome thank you so much hey, if somebody gives a little bit to me I give a little bit back Wow. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what God says to do. He said, if you give a little bit, share a little bit. Give a little bit, share a little bit. Give a little bit, share a little bit. It's a circle. And then everybody profits and gains from it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you and God bless you. God bless you. Thank yeah. you. Are you, are you ready? I'll read it if you want me to. All right. Today's yesterday's tomorrow. Tomorrow's the next day's today. We go, we do, we meet along the way. Life's journey written before our first birthday. Life we live, lives we've changed. We're not glass or clay. When we're broken and hurt, we just say we can heal, it will be okay. But death finds us all in some way. When and where, who's to say? The heart is strong, never give up, we can always pray. Lord, save us, guide us, so we don't dis stray. Discomfort, confusion, sorrow, so much disarray. Fact and truth, man, women, child, they're hungry, hand them a tray. We're human, love and heartache is here to stay. I'm a man, I'm strong, but I shed a tear this day. Walking through the park, seeing where the homeless lay. My, see, what hurts me deep in my heart to see life live this way. The fight to survive, some think it's a game we play. Imagine how many people only see black and gray. Today's yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow's the next day. Joy, peace, and love for all. God's will in our heart, that's what I pray. Amen. That was powerful. I wrote that. I, I write a lot of stuff. You know. I hope y'all enjoy it. And I hope somebody out there gets something from it. God's grace is never ending. All you got to do is reach out, period. Amen. Amen. Have you, all right. So I'm here with Mrs. Ngozi with Project Cafe, and she wants to share a couple of words with everyone. How do you feel about today? Uh, it was very fantastic. In fact, when I was called to come and do it, I feel very happy to come and do it, to, to help them do everything. I like to, I like charity work. And what do you believe that the First Lady will want to continue to achieve with this initiative? Uh, I think she's a very nice lady and she will achieve a lot because she's, uh, she's always giving helping hand to people. She always help people, you know, wherever they are in the whole wide world. Awesome. There you heard it first. Yeah, my name is Gladys Ngozi Oduba. Thank you. Yes. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, we're here with Antonia King with Project Cafe, and I would love to know what your thoughts are about today's initiative and what you guys did out here in the community today. Okay. The name of the organization is Caring Family Enhancement Initiative. It is founded by Dr. Mrs. Ebele Chuku Victoria Obiano. She is 
a very compassionate woman. She loves giving out to the community. She has done this for many years. So every time she goes to the motherless baby's home, she goes to um, where you have the homeless uh, women and families that are displaced, she goes to under the bridge, she feeds them, she buys a lot of things, you know, she goes to so many places. She's been doing this charity work and she does it with all her heart. She's a very compassionate person and she goes um, all over the world reaching out to the less privileged. She builds um, houses for widows and she takes care of the mentally challenged people and she you know builds a lot of um, water supply um, around the whole villages you know she is very very compassionate and she's passionate about what she's doing and today we learned about the people that live under the bridge that doesn't have um, bed bed sheet chairs net clothes food and so on so when we got the address of this place we came and we really saw that people are living under the tent so we when we are coming we came prepared, we came with a lot of things that they needed and we are happy that we have affected lives. And, we're going and I understand that this initiative started all the way in Anambra State, Nigeria. So what does it mean to see Project Cafe cross overseas and be a global impact at this time? Yes, Mrs. Uh, Dr. Mrs. Ebele Chukwobiano is the first lady of Anambra State. She's the wife of the governor and she started the initiative in Anambra State. And she has really, not only in Anambra State, she's been to Lagos, everywhere, empowering women, helping the poor and the needy. She goes everywhere. And every time she comes to America, she's always reaching out to, she goes to Star of Hope, Mission to Yahweh, a lot of homeless places. So that is how the initiative came about, American Cafe. You know, she came to America and saw that even in America that they have needs. So she started reaching out to the less privileged. So this is now global. And she's, you know, stepping out. She wants to go to Europe too, because, you know, here in Europe, you wouldn't know that there are a lot of less privileged people there. There are people that are homeless. So she wants to curb homelessness globally. Excellent. Well, we appreciate your words on behalf of the First Lady. Thank you so much for your time today and thank you for your service as well. Thank you. Coming live from downtown Houston, this is Ibi Okora with Excel Global Media Group. Thank you. Hi, this is Kima Ray, XL Global Media Group, downtown Houston. We're here with the First Lady of Anambra State. Will you please let us know what was the inspiration behind this uh, donation today? Well, will I say it's inborn in me. I started it way back in the um, early 90s when we were residents in Lagos. Um, I go out there to homeless, uh, you know, settlements and what have you, and I give out things, clothes, food. But when my husband became the governor of Anambra State, I decided to, you know, go on a larger scale to help people like indigent widows, build house for indigent widows. We've done about um, 20 seven indigent widows' houses, and we've given them the keys. We've also... Um, considered the um, hygienic condition of people and we built um, rural market, uh, market toilets for about 18 um, communities in Anambra State. What we did this night is not the first that we are doing in Houston. This is about the fifth time that we're reaching out to the less privileged here. We bring out clothes, chairs and what have you, televisions. We've gone to uh, Yahweh, um, we've also gone to uh, Star of Hope, so we've um, and we've also come to a place uh, like this severally. So we have the um, uh, it's my passion to touch lives. That's that's just the thing, you know. It gives me a lot of pleasure. I wasn't very strong this morning, but I said, God, you know what? I want to reach out before the end of the year, no matter what, just give me the strength, let me go there and be able to do this. You know, so it's, it's, it's inborn in me to reach out. The smiles of these people is just healing me already. It's making me feel so, so, so good. And I will continue to do that. Even after office, I will still continue to do it. Especially now that I've been do I'm doing it here, I intend to also do it in Iowa where my daughter is doing her residency, you know, so we reach out to the needy. 
all over the world. Thank you so much. It brings so much joy to our heart to see all the people that came out to receive your donations. And uh, from Excel Global Media Group, we thank you from the bottom of our heart for what you're doing. You've been here so many times and we, we welcome you, we love you. Let us know, what about Houston you love so much? Well, Houston is my home, so you have to love your home. I'm a resident of Houston and my daughter is a citizen of the United States, you know, Houston here. So that's, that's the thing. I know Houston a lot. I relocated to Houston uh, in 08. So I actually went back to Anambra from here in 2013. So that's, that's the thing. This is a place I know like I know the back of my hands, you know, but it still pays my heart that there are people living below. I mean, Africa, particularly Nigeria, is called the third world, but I've seen the fifth world here in the United States, God's own country. So why would I not reach out? I don't care where the people are. The most important thing is putting smiles on their faces. So people will be like, you know, why are you taking water to the river? There are people that are also needy in this river and they need to wash and that's exactly what we're doing here. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I want Thank to present you. a magazine to you. Oh, this okay. is Excel Magazine International. Thank you. Uh, can you let us know how we can contact your organization? Um, we are here. We have um, American Caring Family Enhancement Initiative. That is the one that we have here. We also have that is the um, origin of this Caring Family Enhancement Initiative. Um, that one basically is in Nigeria. Uh, we have our website, cafe, C A F E N G dot org. That's where you can find us and see all the things we have been able to do, how we impacted in people's lives. We give prosthetic limbs to those who don't have it. We donate wheelchairs to the physically challenged. We take back from here 20 footers, 40 footers uh, containers of wheelchairs that we take back home, as well as delivery beds for, you know, uh, um, the areas that they had to reach areas where they don't have all these hospital amenities so we're doing quite a lot and we do cleft uh, palates and lips uh, in collaboration with smile train america Act we actually went for their 20th anniversary in uh, new york so we we do all these things to impact positively in people's lives and uh, by god's grace as long as there is life I will continue to do it. My husband will be out of office by the um, by March 17, 22, and uh, we'll continue where we stopped. Yes. Thank you. May God bless you. We just wrapped Thank up you. with a great initiative today for the Caring Family Enhancement Initiative, otherwise known as Project Cafe. So as you can see, a lot of people came out today. Project Cafe has been very impactful to a lot of the citizens that live here in downtown Houston and these people really feel as though this initiative was a blessing and for some they were even surprised that such an initiative as this one was started all the way in Anambra State, Nigeria. For Excel Global Media Group, this is Ibi Okoro. Have a good night.